Hey YouTubers, today we're going to be painting a six panel door. So let's get right into the demo. So this is the door that we're going to be painting. As you can see it's a six panel door. Two small ones at the very top and then two larger ones. So to start our demonstration of painting a six panel door, I would start by doing the squares. So we just apply our paint and I would do the profiles first. Like that. Then I would paint in the box in the middle. And then finally I just go around to get my brush strokes going with the profile. And I would make sure that wherever I've overlapped this square, I would make sure that the brush strokes are going with the direction panel here. And then I consider this panel across. So my brush strokes are going that way and then this way. Like that. So even if I've gone over a little bit, I'm not overly concerned. And I just move along to the next panel, do the same thing. I'd make sure the paint gets into the Profile, it's into all the details of the panel as I go along. Then I paint in the box in the middle, and that's it. So now I just work my way down, start in the middle, work out the paint. Do the bottom one. Make sure the paint gets into the grooves there in the profile. And again, I'm not really overly concerned about this overlap as long as the paint is in into the groove here and just make sure my brush stroke goes along with this panel make sure the same thing flies all around and then I fill in the middle Spread that paint through. Make sure the paint gets into all the, the grooves in the panel. Then I would continue to do my lower panels and then we're ready to do the crosses and get into that. We've done all six of our panels. We're going to start doing the verticals and the crossers. So what we need to do is imagine that these are wooden panels. And so when there's a horizontal we want our brush strokes to go horizontally. 
And when there's a vertical, we want to run them vertically. We start at the bottom, we start in the middle, we work our paint out, and we go up to that panel, and then we go down to our weather strip. Do it here so you can see it. So we want to brush down into that. Continue to brush horizontally. A little bit of paint on our brush. And so we brush through the horizontal panel. And then we brush vertically through there. And we create an imaginary join at this point. So then, we work on our verticals, keep the wet edge of the paint fresh. Just come across, so we're keeping everything fresh, keeping everything wet. keep going with this demonstration. So we want to keep these wet edges going here so we just put our paint on, spread it out, feather it back into that wet edge so there's no, don't create any dry spots, flashing spots, make it continual. Again, keep the paint on, spread it, work it down into that. Now we need to be careful not to go past this imaginary line that we've created. So we want to feather that into the wet edge we created. Move along, feather that down into the wet edge, like so, and just keep working along. Keep working back and forth, keep that wet. Like so now maybe you'll get a better idea now at this uh, horizontal bar what we can do. So you just paint your small panel again in this direction and then you want to start to paint this horizontal and you brush through it like that and you create this imaginary join by just bringing the brush through there. Then you can finish off this piece of the vertical. And then bring our horizontal bar through. Bring that down a little bit. Make sure the paint gets evenly spread. And then you just feather that Cross. Then you just go back to your vertical strokes here. And you just 
just bring that through and carry on. Try to make this shot as big as possible. So you can just see the principle again on the, our final step here. So again, we're bringing the brush strokes in line with this, this vertical bar. So obviously, we're following through here. Now, because this one is horizontal, we want to create that horizontal line, but we want to give the illusion of a join here, so we bring, we just feather the paint out there with the brush in this direction, and then we can continue on. Now we go back to this vertical here, and we bring that through, and brush down into that wet edge. We don't want to go too far because we've created that horizontal line there. And we bring that down, feather that through, and then we can continue on with our horizontal bar. So Finish off our vertical on this side, bring that through, create that horizontal end section there, and then brush this through, create the illusion of a joint at that point. Finish it all off, and just bring the brush like that. And there you have it. So now you can see that the door is completely solid. If you enjoyed that demonstration on how to paint a six panel door. If you have any questions regarding this video, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them. I'll endeavor to respond. If you have any suggestions for a video, such as this one was, uh, I'll try to do that as the circumstances arise. In the meantime, you could uh, like the videos and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. It's been Craig the Muskoka Painter, helping you take the paint out of painting.